Hi. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. So today, let's look into some amazing tools for transforming your preparation to a whole new level. Hi. Hope you guys are all doing good. Why preparation has to be fun? Before we answer this question, let's assume that we are preparing, you know, routine way. that is practicing multiple choice questions memorizing the key for those questions and then trying to perform on the day of exam this eventually leads to tremendous bouts of stress and negativity during one's preparation and most importantly the objectives of preparation are never fulfilled so coming to the question of this video why preparation has to be fun for its own sake number 1 to sustain your preparation which is very very important once you start your journey sustaining your preparation sustaining your journey is a crucial factor most of us start on a very high note and as time goes on we tend to give up it can be there can be a number of reasons but that's what usually happens in majority of the cases we either feel demotivated or feel like giving up so preparation has to be fun number 1 to sustain it number 2 to enjoy the preparation because only once you enjoy then you can create greatness out of it and third to meet the objectives of preparation that is to understand the given subject or literature and try to apply it clinically because uh, the latest trend is all about clinical application uh, trying to understand the given concepts and uh, to be able to apply them in a given clinical or case based scenario So to meet these objectives preparation has to be fun and it's easier said than done not at all after understanding that preparation has to be fun for its own sake to sustain to enjoy and to meet the objectives of preparation how do we actually make our preparation fun in fact we have some amazing tools both related to work and related to break In fact when i said tools uh, for break uh, this is usually underestimated because the only focus for most of us is uh, the work that is uh, to be able to practice more multiple choice questions to be able to study for long hours right uh, to be able to refer as many references as possible work related tips and tools are very important there is no doubt in it but simultaneously tools which we employ during break how frequently we take breaks what we do in breaks really matters so both these are equally important so let's look into those tools now first work related tools number 1 analysis number 2 active participation last but not the least awesome notes so if you look into analysis if i give you a question or if i give you a topic or if i give you a statement you should be able to analyze why where when how and what let's suppose the minimum thickness of amalgam restoration has to be 1.5 mm so why only 1.5 mm what happens if it is less than 1.5 mm and where at all is this restoration indicated and how do you correlate that clinically or practically so analysis brings out joy brings out fun in preparation so analysis this is very very important keep asking yourself these questions of course it's time taking there are no shortcuts and if you are looking for quick fix solutions i'm really sorry that's going to lead to a disaster it, it it will never allow you to fulfill the objectives of preparation no quick fix solutions the standard way of preparation is to go through standard references only right so analysis is a one amazing work related tool which you can employ number 2 active participation no matter what you do active participation enables you to take your preparation to the next level if you're passively going through literature if you're passively going through some other notes then it never helps you enhance your preparation and moreover whenever there is any challenging question or whenever there is any case based question this passive preparation approach will only let you down so active participation watching videos and making notes 
taking up tests, referring explanations, cross-checking with standard references again and making notes in the process. And whenever there are any sessions, actually participating, trying to give out answers. And if you're wrong, trying to analyze why and where you had done mistakes and then trying to improvise accordingly. So active participation is another amazing work-related tool. And finally, amazing notes. When I say amazing notes, it's not notes prepared by someone. It has to be your own customized notes because when you prepare your own notes, you prepare it based on your level of understanding, based on what you feel is important, uh, given the number of MCQs you practiced, given the literature I'd gone through. So it has to be customized. And no matter what you prepare, this customized notes of yours is going to help you enormously especially during your revision phase, where it not only saves time, but also most importantly, enhances your confidence. So these are some of the work-related tools. And coming to break time, there are some tools which, when implemented even during breaks, will take your preparation to a whole new level. First one is visualization. So suppose you're taking a break. Just close your eyes. Visualize yourself in a position where you want to be. You secured All India Rank 1. Uh, you, you, you are successful in your own way. And uh, how do you like to see yourself in the next one year, three years, five years? And when you are there, how do you feel? How do your family feel? How do your friends feel? Just visualize. Close your eyes. Visualize. Believe in what you are visualizing 100%. It's an amazing tool. It's going to transform your preparation. Take my word. And... Apart from visualization, physical activities, it can be anything. It can be walking, running, gardening, painting, any activity based on your choice, based on your passion, which helps you stay engaged mindfully. And most importantly, it serves as a positive distraction. It's nothing but you're recharging yourself so that once you start your preparation again, you can restart with renewed enthusiasm. And finally, meditation. So this is something which I personally enjoy doing. Meditation, the moment we hear the word meditation, we think it's complex. We think it is something which we cannot do. But take my word, it's a very simple procedure. All you need to do is just sit or stand or stay anywhere as per your convenience and comfort and listen to some soothing music. In fact, we had done one video previously on the same. Just close your eyes, listen to this soothing music of yours and then do not restrict your thoughts that's it do not restrict your thoughts just focus on the music it's a kind of guided meditation which takes your mind to a whole new level of peace and care take my word meditation is something which you can employ during your breaks so using these transformative tools you can definitely take your preparation to a whole new level And before I conclude, please remember, it's always about working hard, working consistently, and most importantly, believing in ourselves. For any further queries or assistance, please feel free to get back through mail 24 by 7. Wish you all the best. Love you all.